Hey kids, welcome to Unit 2, Lesson 4 Constructors, exercise number 3. The dessert class represents desserts that Project Mercury Pastries Food Truck sells. It has instance variables for flavor and price. In dessert.java, declare instance variables for flavor and price. Write a no argument constructor that sets flavor to plain and price to zero dollars. Then in my console.java, we're going to instantiate a dessert object called a plain dessert using that no argument constructor. This doesn't seem too bad. Let's look at our dessert file here. Oh, well, we definitely have a lot of directions here, so that's good. Let's go ahead and work our way down. Number one, we have to declare instance variables for flavor and price. This is our first time doing it. And if we remember, our anatomy of this is, first, we have to use the word private to declare, then the data type, and finally our variable. That means if we need a private instance variable for flavor, it should just be private. And then flavor is gonna be a word, so that's a string. And then the name of this variable is just flavor. And then we put a semicolon. That's it, kids. Let's do the same thing for price. We're setting it to private because it's a private instance variable. Price is 0, 0.00. That's a double. And then the name for this variable is going to be price. After that, we have to write a no argument constructor that sets flavor to plain and price to $0. How are we going to do that? Well, I remember a parameterized constructor had the word public and the variable in it. We didn't use void or any other keyword. That means to declare a no argument constructor, we're going to go public and we're going to use the same name as a class because it's a no argument. That's dessert. And there is no parameters or a no argument. So there's nothing in the parentheses. Then we do our curly cues. And inside the curly cues, we're going to set our defaults. The first is a flavor, and that's going to be equal to plain. I need it spelled exactly. It's a string literal, so it's in quotes. After that, we need to do price. Price is going to be set to what? 0, 0.00. That should be it for number two. Now we have to create this dessert object using that no argument parameter. Hmm, how do we do that? Well, I think no argument parameters is how we've been creating objects all along. What class are we calling from? The dessert class. What is the name of this? Well, we need plain dessert, and that's going to be a new dessert. Do we have any parameters? No. So we're going to leave our parentheses open. Semicolon, and that's it. Let's go ahead and hit run just to see if we get any errors. Nothing popped up. Key takeaways for this lesson is really how we set up the subclass with private instance variables. Remember, we need to declare them private, the data type, and then the variable name. Don't forget your semicolon. In this lesson, we did a no argument constructor. And that just means whenever you call this object, it'll be set to default values. Think of it as pre-filling your document. How do we instantiate an object to call that no argument instructor? Well, that's really what we've been doing all along. It is declaring what class you want it from, variable, new keyword, and then class again. This time we're not putting any constructors in, so we leave it empty just like we have been. 
Hopefully, kids, this video helped you understand what no argument constructors are a little better. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next lesson. See you later, kids. Bye.